Hey guys, so today I am doing another video. Today guys, I want to welcome you guys to Modern Talk and Adventure. <clears throat> um, today's video, oh, we're losing focus. Oh, we're back. So today's video guys, what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be doing a cooking video. We are going to be doing a recipe that uh, if you guys remember, Mr. K that was uh, helping me with the vlog at the Max's restaurant. That's, this is his recipe, guys. I stole this recipe from Mr. K. I and also have not been authorized to put it online, so I hope when he sees this, there's no lawsuit. But anyhow, guys, today's recipe is a little bit different, or today's video is a little bit different. I'll be doing a very simple um, noodle dish. Um, again, it's very simple, very easy. Um, again, my opinion, one of the most simplest recipes I've ever tried, but yet it is delicious. It is, it packs a punch, lots of flavor, simple, easy, but yet delicious. So first things first in this recipe, I'm going to turn the camera now. What we have to do here, guys, I absolutely do not buy any garlic that is minced. So this recipe requires a lot of garlic. So what we're gonna do here first, guys, is we are going to... A few moments later. later hey guys so we're back at the stove here we got that water boiled so what I got was what I got was guys I used um, this egg noodle it's the extra broad egg noodle extra large low fat low sodium um, and zero cholesterol so that's why I got this one um, very healthy a little bit more expensive to get this brand but it's better for you. So let's drop these egg noodles into the boiling water. And now we let that boil, guys. We let that boil and let's grab a spoon here and stir up this egg noodle. So, oh, there we go, guys. Let's throw that one back in. We're not gonna let it get away. We'll we shall make these nice and soft and then strain them and throw them in the frying pan, guys. So here, let's put the lid back on and I'll come back when these are strained and ready to put on the frying pan. A few moments later. Guys, so as you can see, our noodles here are done. Look at that. They're nice and soft, they're foamy. So what we're gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna pull these noodles off here. Let me go get a paper towel for the spoon. We'll set that spoon here on a nice paper towel. But anyhow, guys, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna pull these noodles and I'm gonna throw them in the strainer here. Um, and let them sit here for a while, let them drain. While I bring this pan over here, 
And what I have here, guys, is, ooh, we got some steam coming off those noodles. What I got here, guys, is I have some homemade butter. I have some homemade butter. Shout out to you, Grandma, for this homemade butter. It's very delicious. Guys, this is pure organic butter made with non-homogenized milk. So before it gets to the processing plant. So for this recipe, guys, we're going to put some butter in there. And we all know that if we heat up butter too much, it's going to burn. So guys, what we need to do is we need to put a touch of avocado, or sorry, not avocado, uh, extra virgin olive oil. Just to get our butter not from burning. Get this butter and oil spread across the entire plate. And guys, now we come back to our garlics that we minced earlier. And you guys heard it from me before, lots of garlics in my diet. So guys, we are gonna get a ton of garlic in this noodle dish cause that's the only way that we can make this noodle dish any good. So let me assemble this back here together. Get these garlics out of here. So guys, what we're doing now is we are coming in and we are gonna brown all this garlic. We're gonna give it that nutty butter flavor and we got the oil to keep it from browning and overheating. And yeah, so we're gonna get catch some brown though. We need to, oh guys, see that garlic starting to turn now, guys. Look at that garlic, it's starting to turn. Get in on that. Oh, you guys can only smell what I'm smelling here now. Wow. So I know this seems like a lot of garlic, but what can I say, guys? I like garlic. Um, again, this recipe, you can put in whatever and how, met, how much ever you want. I roughly put in about three or four tablespoons of garlic. Get it nice and seasoned here, guys. Uh, we'll let it go for a little bit longer. Keep stirring it constantly so that you don't burn on the pan. Um, I have very good quality pans because I cook a lot so um, but anyhow guys we're starting to turn pretty good here we're gonna let it go for a little bit longer um, then once we got it dialed here once we got it browned a bit what we're gonna do is we are going to add our noodles that we poured into our strainer here guys so here we go I think we're ready so guys here we go with our noodles so guys again this is clean so I'm not wasting any this recipe is so simple and so easy to do all we are putting in is butter and garlic Ah, I think we may have cooked too much, but I wanted to make a full batch for you guys. Um, I'm going to try and take it easy here. So, a couple things that I put in there that is my own twist. I put in some soy sauce. Uh, China Lily, shout out to my buddy Dave. <laughs> Thank you for the China Lily protest he did on Facebook there. Uh, oh my gosh, we're losing too many noodles. So guys, you can see it's starting to turn a little bit, uh, starting to turn colors now. Um, we're not gonna keep putting it in there because I know people will say, oh, you shouldn't do that. But I guarantee you, if you weren't, if you guys weren't here watching me, it'd be going back in. Oh, the smell that soy and garlic and butter, guys. A um, couple more things that I'm going to put in there is, and, and again, this is my own twist that I said I got this recipe off Mr. K, but this is my own twist that I put on it. Uh, a few chilies. Um, I do like some heat. Um, and I am going to, oh, 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 bottle down, bottle down. I am going to go ahead and put this uh, no co non kosher salt in it. Uh, get a bit of. Uh, a little bit of um, some, put a little bit more olive oil to get it, get that nice brown on it. Because we do want to have some crispiness on these noodles. Uh, we don't want them to be soggy, so we're going to actually turn up the heat here. 
hit it with uh, mid to high heat. Like I said, guys, this is a quick dish. This is not a lot of prep. You can see the garlics, the chilies. Um, depending on sometimes, um, on, depending on the different uh, companies of noodles that you use, you might want to add more butter because some of them are a little bit drier than others. So that all depends on you. One minute, 37 seconds later. Hey guys, so there we have it, finished product. This is my garlic noodles, we'll call it. So guys, next thing, you know what we have to do is, this is the, the finished product, guys. I'll put this up to the camera here, have a look at it. So um, before we try this, guys, so it was, we first mince the garlic, however you can do that. You can go buy the minced garlic. I choose not to do that. I do it myself and I always do it, not just for you guys, I always do it for myself. Um, we then boil the water, put the noodles in, got them nice and soft, strained them. While I was straining, I heated up the pan, threw in some homemade butter that, again, I got from my grandma, some uh, olive oil, and then I threw in the noodles, got them, got them started frying, sauteing them, threw in some soy, uh, threw in some chili flakes, some salt, a little bit of oil, and voila, done. So you could say this took what, 10, 15 minutes? And guys, I really hate to do this in front of you guys, this, this taste testing business, but you know what? It is cooking privileges, so. Oh my God. Because you fry them, or you saute them, what happens to them, they develop this very nice chewy texture. They develop this nice chewy texture. And you can taste that garlic. You can taste that butter. That butter is very important, guys, because it gives you that nutty, that nutty taste. Um, mm, sodium is just right. Guys, this is. I'm not gonna say it's award winning, but guys, this is a recipe you have to check out. I mean, you can add mushrooms, you can add whatever you like, but for a quick, oh, for a quick, simple, easy dish. And you know what? If you don't feel like cooking anything else, you can eat this on your own by itself. Mmm. You know what the word is here, guys? This is a very well balanced dish. Because A, you got a filler, which is the carbs, the egg noodle. Then you got a very nice flavor of garlic. You got that sodium, that soy sauce. You got a little bit of that heat. Not a lot, just a, just a tingling on the tip, on the back of your tongue. Um, you... You know, you got that nice, nutty, buttery flavor. Anyhow, guys, again, it's worth checking out. Let's try one more bite here. Oh. You know what, guys? I go as far as saying that if you come to Canada, if you are in Canada, if you are in Alberta, Guys, give me a shout out. We'll get together, I'll make a dish. That's how good I think it is. Just an absolute masterpiece. Simple, delicious. I know I keep repeating myself here, but I can't get away from it. Anyhow guys, um, just a very nice, a nice finish to them, you know. Um, 
some people might want more soy sauce and do whatever it takes but anyhow guys i check out this recipe if you have any thing that you any ideas how i could improve it i'm open thanks for watching guys i appreciate all our new subscribers all our comments you guys are so great you guys are so inspirational and i'll keep on making these videos for you guys i'll keep on doing whatever it takes to entertain and to make you guys happy i hope i'm doing that or inspire you guys um anyhow guys thank you so much i can't eat all of this it's probably gonna last me one two three days uh because as you guys know i only eat carbs once a day so um but anyhow guys thanks again i i Appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea what this means to me to be able to have people reach out and get back to me. You know, I feel like I'm not just wasting my time in making these videos. So again, guys, thanks a million. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. And I will never take you for granted. And you know what, guys? With that being said, be kind to one another. It's not hard.